Hi, today we're going to be talking about the impact that the start of winter is having on our solar power system and what we're planning to do about it. Our main issue has been um, our batteries keeping them warm actually, isn't it? Um, I think most of our power has been used on keeping the batteries warm which is, which is a bit uh, crazy really. For those of you who haven't seen any of our other videos, our solar power system, including our batteries, is located in the loft area of a barn that we built especially to house our solar panels. So the solar power system isn't situated where we live, which means the heat from our everyday living um, doesn't doesn't keep them warm. So, so we're using pylon tech batteries and in the um, manual it says that 25 degrees is, is what they like, Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius is what they like. The colder temperatures is fine, um, but they don't like charging if it gets below, um, I think it's five degrees actually, they, they just stop, they stop charging if it goes below five degrees to protect themselves. But even still, the warranty does say something about keeping it, um, they're tested for this amount and so really you need to try and keep them at that amount. I'll have to look at the manual again because I know I'll get comebacks on this if it's wrong. <laughs> uh, I insulated this building 100 minute insulation. I wish I'd used more now, but actually, when it is frosty, you can see that it is doing its job. The roof does stay frosty, so that might not be the problem. We're just we're just using such a lot of power that radiator clicks in at a thousand watts, and um, if it's cold, it keeps clicking in and up, off and on until. To keep the building the right temperature um, of around 25 degrees so um, if we were just using the solar to live and we didn't have our radiators on we'd probably be fine it was covering our loads on the greyest of days it's two or three hundred watts coming in um, continuously while it's um, grey uh, obviously when it's dark there's nothing um, and it's enough to, to do the job and then when the sun comes out um, we do get eventually charged, um, not as good as in the summer, in the summer by about 9 o'clock, half past 9, because we weren't running a radiator, we were already quite topped up, it would top our batteries up and we were fully charged by about half past 9 in the morning, and winter's um, very different, and I think, you know, that the most thing is heating, and there's obviously, there's loads of different ways you can heat it, we'll have lots of people saying, why don't you try this, and you don't want to try, don't want to have a colour gas bottle up here that's damp and wet, um, there, there is lots of things we can try. I was trying to, um, some heat pads, trying to get some small enough to actually fit under here is a problem. They're quite expensive, a lot of them. Um, and you've still got to try and seal the heat in. So I think what I'm going to do is eventually build a box around the batteries big enough to incorporate the little radiator and, and try and keep that area warm um, at, at uh, that 25 degree temperature constantly. Um, I was looking actually at um, compost heating, which looks quite interesting because we've got loads of wood chip, and that might be something we try and do later on. Have a little little pump that runs a radiator up here, and they put uh, fill a, an area with compost, put tubing inside, and the heat it's so hot they're actually heating their homes. So a test for me would be heating up here. And then if it works, make something bigger and eventually when we build, we could heat our home with it um, for nothing, hopefully. Um, yeah. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be useful. So one of the things that we've done this week is reduce um, some of the conifer hedging that we've got around us. It had got really, really tall um, and um, yeah, that's made a big improvement. So we'll show you what we did with that and um, you, can, you can see how it's got better. So this is the problem we've got. As you can see, it is a beautiful sunny morning. Um, it's about eight o'clock in the morning um, and that sun just isn't hitting the panels. Because it's coming up so much lower than it was in the summer, it's just not reaching them. And this is our problem. So behind our mobile home, you can see we have got a big conifer hedge growing. Great for shelter, great for privacy not great for letting the sun in in the winter. So that is going to be being reduced so that that sun can come over those conifers and hit those panels earlier. So this is the other side of that conifer hedge and as you can see, the sun is bouncing off of it. Um, so we really need those reduced down to let that sun through.
it's there, but it's just not reaching the panels. So these have been reduced and have actually still got sun on the panels, uh, which is, has been rare. About 12 o'clock time, we've been, uh, they've been in shade because uh, the sun's so low. Uh, but now um, it's still good. So that's what we've been up to this week. We've just been trying to optimise the amount of light that's been getting to our solar panels. Um, if you'd like to know more about our off-grid solar power system, um, we'll put some links into the videos below. We've got videos on wiring in the system and uh, the Pylon Tech batteries that we're using and also an overview of how much it costs to install it. We're still doing our polytunnel. Poly <laughs> the polytunnel is ongoing if anyone's interested. I know the solar people aren't generally interested. <laughs> but we might heat it with solar one day. <laughs> <laughs> We're also going to be doing a complete recap of our solar power system. Lots of people have asked for an overview from beginning to end. So we're going to go through each of the components that we've used, um, fusing, wiring, all that sort of thing. Um, I know we've been saying we're going to do that for a while. That's because when we do it, we want to make sure we do it right and yes. do it in good detail. And um, with one baby and another on the way, it's just finding the time. So thank you for being patient with us on that. It's going to be something we end up doing over Christmas when we've yeah. got some time off to, to go through it. Because some people want to know how the um, how we wire it into our generator and things like that. And it, it is super simple. I did it. So <laughs> it's really easy Don't sell to yourself do. Short. <laughs> it, is, it is really easy, you know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if you have, please consider subscribing and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thank you. <laughs>